What's going on YouTubers? Appreciate you tuning in to another one of my YouTube videos from Take Two Fishing. My name's William and of course, I'm your host. So as you can see, I'm out here in the bait shop and going to make some spectacular jig trailers today and you're going to love them. Took me a little while to come up with this idea, but it's going to be absolutely perfect to match this black blue jig. So you got to stay tuned to the very end to see the total outcome. As you see, I have three Pyrex glasses in front of me. Got an injector, mold, some colorant, some glitter, and some soft plastics by none other than Bait Plastics LLC. If you guys have not checked out Bait Plastics, please be sure to do so. You can find them at baitplastics.com. I got everything that you need to help you get in the game or to help you step your game up to the next level. If you guys have not checked out my soft plastic line, please do so. You can find that at take2fishing.com, take2baits.com. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Be sure to hit me up as well, and I appreciate it. So let's get this show started. I know you're going to love the outcome, so stay tuned. So it's definitely a little bit cooler than normal today. We got some cooler weather overnight. As a matter of fact, I think some people actually got some frost. So we're gonna throw the injector and the mold in a toaster oven that I use to help me get through the cooler weather. And it actually works wonders on my molds and my injector. Now we've gotta come over here and divvy up some soft plastic. And the idea that I've actually got is going to be a blue tail. And it's actually going to be a clear outer core. And it's actually going to be a black core. So make sure I got that right. We've got three measuring cups here. We've got a blue tail. We got a clear outer core. And we got a black inner core. Man, this is gonna be great. All right, guys, coming down the home stretch on the first batch of plastic. Got my mold out in front of me, and I've got my core shot rods in place to help me accomplish what I'm looking to do. So we'll put the mold together, and as I told you, we're gonna shoot a blue tail. So the first thing we've actually got to do is shoot the entire bait. So I got my plastic over here. Definitely warm enough. Now because we're we're matching a black blue jig, I've got a blue tail. I want to throw some black glitter in with that so my blue is not completely solid but it's not 100% transparent either you want to be careful when adding black glitter coarse black glitter does tend to darken your colors up just a little bit so what we'll do reach over here out of the infamous toaster oven Grab our injector, which is nice and warm. Got down in the 30s last night. I'll suck up a little bit of air, but we'll get rid of that real quick. Lean back and burp it out. There goes the bubbles. And we'll come over here. A little bit of down pressure there. And fill up the sprue. Get rid of this right here did not run off the side of the glass because I won't need it again <clears throat> so we'll allow this to cool down just a little bit kind of clean the mess up as we go I'm sure any minute now we'll be hearing some chickens because I've got chickens <laughs> so
get that out of the way. Now then, the next, the next color we're actually going to shoot is actually going to, it's going to be clear. So I want to make sure that 100% that there's no blue plastic left behind because I definitely don't want that mixing in with any other colors. Now, this has definitely set long enough. So we'll pop the top on this mold. And if I can get the top off here, I'm going to stick this a little bit. That's all right, though. We're coming off the opposite direction. Typically, that doesn't happen, but the mold's a little cooler. So we'll have to get some funky stuff. All right, so the first step is completed here. So this is what <clears throat> this is what the outcome is here. You see the entire grub and we've got a blue tail with some black flake in it. Now, these rods have been lubricated so that I can pull the grub off without tearing it up. All right, and typically what I do is I pluck the first one off then I'll pull the rod out that way. Now you don't have to do it like that. That's just the way I do it. You can pluck these out one at a time, both sides, doesn't really matter as long as you get them off. And what I use to lubricate these rods is simply worm oil. Now if worm oil's, you know, too thin for you, I actually have baked plastics worm oil and that's what I use and it works out perfect for me as you can see, slides right out. So, Step one of this journey is complete. And it's really not a bad color at all. I just, just alone by itself, I like the color. But nowhere near finished. So give me just a second and I'll show you the next step. All right, so the next step is to remove these blue tails. And what I like to do is I actually like to let the bait cool down just a little bit. And then I actually use a razor blade to pretty much just whack off that tail section. So we got six of these to do. If you do it while the bait's still warm, it actually causes this to collapse and look more like that. So I let the bait cool down just a little bit before I actually cut that off. And one more to go here. Voila. So I'll take my scraps, throw them back in my blue over here because I'll use those again. Give me just a second. We'll show you what the next step is. All right. So the next step is, is those tails that you've cut off, you've got to get them placed back on the rod. And I like to keep my hands a little oily to do this, but I try to stay away from where the butt weld's going to be made. As you can see there, I've got a couple of these lined back up. It does take just a little bit of work to get them back in the mold, but once you've done them a few times, it just gets easier and easier to get it down pad. Get my rod centered up in here. And we've talked about as far as putting the lid back on. We definitely want to make sure that everything is seated the way it's supposed to be. And it looks like even there. Looks even on that side as well. So when we put this lid back on, we should hear a fairly clean sound. Sticking up on this side. That would be that rod right there. So there you go. Didn't get a... I don't know why I didn't catch that. Doesn't look, there we go. I believe we got it. Got it that time. So basically we just want a good seal all the way around. So we got our tails loaded back in there. And now we want to bring on the clear. So let me get the clear cooked up and we'll be right back. All right, so on the clear, 
<clears throat> we've got it coming down the home stretch. We're actually going to add a little bit of blue and a little bit of black flake. And the reason being is that we've got a um, blue tail and we've got a black inner core, but we don't want to steal away from either one, but we want to give the clear a little kick. <clears throat> Now the clear has been degassed because we definitely don't want bubbles showing up in the plastic. So as you see, this is super clear, been degassed, so we don't have to worry about any kind of bubbles. And again, like I said, we don't want to kill it with uh, with glitter. We just kind of want to accent the clear just a little bit to kind of stand out. And again, if you use too much black or anything of that nature, that does tend to cause the plastic to start turning just a little bit. So we've got uh, just a tad, just a tad bit more blue. There we go. That looks nice. So now we're gonna shoot this into the blue tails that we already have in our mold. Lean back just a little bit and get rid of the air. Definitely don't want any air in our clear. And we'll hold just a little bit of down pressure just a little bit longer this time to kind of make sure that we get a good butt weld against the tail. And the plastic in this case was just a little bit warmer, about 360. So back filler. Spread up just a little bit get rid of our clear that was in our injector now our next color is going to be black so we don't really have to worry too much about anything with black it's just going to be straight black no different uh no extra additives in it but we got to heat it just a little bit higher of a temperature so that we can completely penetrate the core so that's that's an important thing so let me get and get this set out of the way. Yes, we're ready. So let me go ahead and open this up and show you. Now I always take, I know this is not completely cooled down. I always like to take a finger sometimes and press right there on the inner portion of that core. Man, just check that out. I'm gonna pull one of these out so you guys can see. But man, this is just awesome. So we got a, a blue tail, black flake. We got a clear core with blue and black glitter. The only thing that we're lacking now is the inner core, which is gonna be black. But man, you know, that is just that's awesome. So once again, we go through the trouble of plucking these off. Now, if the, if the plastic's a little too warm, it'll definitely mess the plastic up. And we definitely don't want to mess it up because we've got to do a inner core shot. So if you do pull it off too quickly, then you'll tear the end here and you won't get that good clean hole at the end is what we're looking for. So instead of pulling the bait with the rod, we'll pull the bait off without the rod and hope for a better, there we go. Good clean opening there. Check that thing out, man. Is that not just an awesome looking core? Kind of lay that out on my skin there seems so a little bit better. That's that's awesome. So now the only thing we got to do is we got to load these back into the mold. And again, what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of worm oil on my fingers, and it kind of helps me. And I'll look at the holes as I'm going. And like I said, once you've done these a few times. They get easier and easier to kind of drop in. Never claim to be a pro. Just uh, once you've done it enough, it just gets a little bit easier. There 
And I definitely, like I said, I definitely recommend uh, a little bit of worm oil on your hands. It kind of helps you lay the baits down relatively quick. A little smoother, make them a little bit easier to get in. And I'm going to show you something here in just a sec. There we go. That one went right where I wanted it to. Looks good. Nope, that one does not look good. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let me get my hands wiped off here just a tad bit. Grab me a pointing stick here. All right, so you see this bait here and this gunnel or sprue opening or port, whichever one you want to call it. So the plastic's got to come in. It's got to make its way into the, into the core itself. This one here is hanging over. You see how it's hanging over just a little bit. So actually, this would not fill up properly. So what we've got to do is we've got to slide this back one notch. And that right there was enough, I believe. So I can get my hands to. There we go. So if you guys feel actually look down, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So everything is just pretty much a straight path, nothing hanging over, nothing pressed too far back. If it's if it's too far back this way then what happens is you wind up with the core color right here on the end of the bait and that's not what we want we actually want as much as the end of this bait to caught to possibly be clear so we're loaded back up the last step is to actually shoot the inner core which i told you that uh that was going to be black get this thing buttoned back up so give me one second. Let me get some of this mess cleaned up and get the black started. Be right back. All right, so we're coming down the home stretch on our black and we want it to be a little bit warmer than 350 degrees to make it a little bit easier to shoot. But at the same time, we definitely, well, yes. So we want it to be black, all right? But we don't want it to be thick black because if it's too thick, We'll have a little bit more complications getting it down the core, so we definitely want it to be black, though. Just a little bit more. And I have decided that I'm going to put some glitter in it after all. Some holographic. We're gonna kind of flood it just a little bit with some holographic to kind of help that inner core pop just a little bit. You won't really be able to see a whole lot of it if it's too dark. So I like it. Man, that looks good. As you see, I Drift it out there on my whiteboard, make sure I'm still warm enough. 325. So we dropped down the temperature by adding glitter and color, and we don't want it to be that cool because then I'll have complications of getting that thing to shoot a core. So give that just a second. We'll kind of clean this up while that's cooking. Get my baked plastics holographic glitter placed back up on here the sh on the shelf here. Got plenty of them up there for sure. All right, so I think we're gonna be more than there. We're definitely gonna be warm enough now. It's a little cooler out here than it normally is. Man, 400 degrees. Way too warm. So we'll stir this for a brief sec. There we go. 
we're dropping it down pretty quick now. Oh yeah, a lot better. And then by the time we get it pulled up in this injector, that'll cool it down a little bit more. Perfect. So we'll lean it back, burp it like we always do. And we want to hold just a little bit of pressure on there so that we hopefully fill all the uh, cores up. Sometimes it just doesn't make it. <clears throat> so I try to keep it, uh, try to keep it a little warm, a little thin, kind of help it out. And uh, again, I've told you guys that uh, just give you an idea what that black's going to look like. Try to hang on to my plastics and that way I can use them again. I'm sure this is not the only bag of these I'll be making because I actually think I want to bag them for myself. So, I think we're right there. find out might be just a little too soon yeah that's all right though and like i said i always like to push down right here whenever some hot plastic kind of keeps it from coming back out man would you check that out completely awesome we'll pull these out pluck that one off already <clears throat> grab these so put that back over here in the black so check Check this out, man. So there you go. You've got your clear core outer, your black core inner, your blue tail with black flake. Man, it's just going to be an amazing jig trader. I love that, man. That is once again an amazing bait, no doubt. So I have walked you through the process of a blue tail, clear outer black core shot. Didn't, uh, hopefully didn't make it sound or look too complicated because actually it, uh, it's not. It's uh, pretty simple and you can do this with a number of colors. But undoubtedly what what a great, great looking trailer. So this is by far a super looking trailer for your jigs. So if there's any particular jig trailers that you'd like to see me do, or if you'd like to place an order, please do not hesitate to do so. I can do these in so many different colors, but there you have it. That's what it was all about. Appreciate you guys uh, tagging along. I'll get it out. Appreciate you guys tagging along once again in this video. Uh, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. That way you know when the next video comes out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, there you go. That's it. See ya. <laughs>